So for today, we're going to be looking at the Cadmas Ridge Landscape Exotic for the Titans. That is a long name. We're just going to call it Landscape from now on. Um, yeah, the Landscape is pretty cool. We're going to be looking at how it shaders, how it looks, uh, the example set, and we're going to be looking at what it does. That's the first thing we're going to do. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Titans, let me know what you guys think. Other than that, let's uh, let's just get into it. So the Lance Cap's armor perk is called Lancer's Vigil. Diamond Lances create stasis crystals on impact when thrown with more crystals created by hitting bosses and vehicles. While using a stasis subclass and behind your rally barricade, rapid precision hits and combatant final blows with a stasis weapon creates a diamond lance near you. So I don't know many people that are using the diamond lances like at all. So I definitely think this is an L for Titans. Uh, it's not a good exotic. I don't see the, no, I don't, I shouldn't say it's not good. The diamond lances do create more crystals, which is super cool. I guess my only issue with it is just the fact that like how many people are out here like using diamond lances. Uh, I could definitely see the argument being said of like, well, people are using crystals for like other things. Sure, I get that, but it's just so much work just to get crystals when you can use a grenade or the titans uh slide melee that's also a thing there's other ways you can do it uh you can use a weapon with headstone there's just so many ways and i don't know it just to me just seems like more work than it's worth that being said in pvp it, it is actually really good considering you can actually proc a, a diamond lance from getting headshots that's really, really cool. And I've seen some people do some cra some crazy things with it on like Twitter and whatnot. But uh, I don't know. It's one of those like I can definitely see me using it in PvP so I can get like a diamond lance. But at that point, I'm just kind of like, cool. I got one hit and then just kind of go back to like whatever I was doing. So it definitely can be used, especially like in trials where you get those headshots and you have a diamond lance and essentially it's a free pick. In that aspect, I can see it being meta as fuck, but I don't play trials. So like, well, at least I don't play trials like enough to care about what the meta is. Usually I'll just go in, uh, die a lot of times just to like get my, my engrams and then I'll fuck off because I do not enjoy trials. Uh, maybe with friends, but like as a solo player, I just do not like it at all. So as for how it looks, I think it looks super cool. I think it looks a little meme because like the example set that I made, uh, you guys will understand the, the thought process when you see it. But it's not bad. It's just, uh, I don't know. It gives off like Mother Russia, like like, like that whole vibe. Uh, as for how it shaders, I think it shaders okay. Uh, surprisingly, the crystal, the stasis crystal faceplate, you can actually change colors. You guys can see from Ancient Wisdom, which is pretty weird. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But you also have like Echo Danger, which doesn't change the color of the faceplate. But it does have a really good red in there. At least I think so. And then Abyssinian Gold with just pure black. I think it looks super cool as well. But then we get to something like Cryptic Insignia, which just turns the, the crystal just even more like more crystal-y, I guess you would say. Because it's not that color usually. So I don't know. It's okay. Let's just say that. As for the example set, I ended up going for like a fucking officer from Russia look, I guess you would say. And I'm surprised considering I'm using the unyielding favor arms. I never thought I'd use these arms, but there's a few reasons why I'm using this one. I like the fact that it goes well with the Valkyrian plate, like actually, but second, I like how it looks with my overall set. So for the boots, Eidolon Pursuant Grease was an easy choice and I'll explain why Intrepid Exploit Mark was also an easy choice and let me explain why. So. The Eidolon Pursuant Greaves was an easy choice because the, the silver on the right side of the leg, specifically the thigh, uh, goes really well to um, offshoot the white on the arm, specifically on the bicep. So that's why I'm using that. I wanted to use these two pieces to offset each other so that way it's not too heavy on one side. The Intrepid Exploit is because there's a gun holster on one side and a grenade on the other, which is militaristic in my head, especially for like an officer. They would definitely have something like that, but not the grenade, but the gun holster like that would definitely be an officer thing. And this is an officer from Mother Russia. So that's like the whole shtick of this. So I really like this example set. I don't know why it's super stupid, but I love it. It just came out super good. Like. It looks like fucking Saint 14 is going to be like, uh, brother, like, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm really bad with my Russian accents, but I do think it looks super cool. 
So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I do, I do think you guys got an L for this exotic. It's not that great, but that doesn't that doesn't matter considering your other exotic is super fucking good, which we will be reviewing in a bit. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate you guys. Like, really, I do because the channel has been blowing up and it's all thanks to you guys. I mean, I have been posting more content than I usually do, but it wouldn't be it wouldn't mean anything if you guys weren't watching the content. So I appreciate you guys. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.